At our focus this Sunday afternoon, Bangladeshi author Taslima Nasreen has been targeted by workers from Asaduddin Obesi's party at the Aurangabad airport on Saturday evening. As soon as the author landed in the city, AIMIM workers gathered outside the airport protesting against her visit, raising slogans against her. Nasreen was forced to remain in the airport and board a flight and was forced to board a Mumbai bound flight. The list was in Aurangabad with her mother to visit the famous Ajanta Elora caves. To remind you, this is not the first time that the Bangladeshi author has been targeted. Earlier in 2008, the author was targeted by AIMIM MLAs at the Hyderabad Press Club, where an unruly crowd attacked Taslima Nasreen with bouquets and flower pots. जैसे ही हमारे कान पे ये बात आई कि तस्लीमा नसरी खामोश तौर पे औरंगाबाद आने वाली है यहाँ पर अजंता एलोरा की गुफाएं देखने के लिए तब हमको ये पता चला कि वो यहाँ से एयरपोर्ट से निकलकर सीधा ताज होटल जाने वाली है लेकिन जैसे ही ये बात पुलिस को पता चली कि मजलिस के नौजवान लड़के हमारे जो हमारी हिम्मत है ताकत है वो ताज होटल के सामने इकट्ठा हो गए हैं और किसी भी सूरत के अंदर उन्होंने ये तय कर लिया है कि वो औरंगाबाद शहर में कदम नहीं रख सकती पुलिस ने ये तय किया कि हम उसे एयरपोर्ट पर ही रोकेंगे the protesters saying that Taslima Nasreen cannot step on the Indian soil. So that's the latest that we're getting. Bangladeshi author Taslima Nasreen had to go back after she, after her entry into India was protested by AIMIM leaders, by protesters. They claim that her writings have hurt Islam in the past and whatever she's written goes on to insult the religion. And this time as well, she had to board a flight back after she landed at, at the Aurangabad airport on Saturday evening. And as soon as she landed in the city, AIMIM workers gathered outside the airport protesting against her visit. They raised slogans and that eventually forced Nasreen to initially remain at the airport and then board a Mumbai bound flight. She was in Aurangabad with her mother to visit the famous Ajanta Elora caves. So the visuals on your screens are of that confrontation from 2007 when Taslima Nasreen had to face similar protests when flower pots and bouquets were hurled at Taslima Nasreen in 2007 and uh, similar protests were witnessed back in uh, at least 10 years ago and now we see in 2017 AIMIM once again protesting her visit to India. She was in Aurangabad. But the moment she landed at the airport with her mother, she faced protests from OVC's uh, leaders. And then uh, the protests were so fierce that she had to take a Mumbai bound flight. She could not go beyond the airport premises. And 2007, similar protests were witnessed. All right, I'm joined by, uh, I'm joined by Varis Patan on this uh, broadcast. Uh, Mr. Patan, thank you so much for speaking to India today. Uh, what do you make of these protests uh, uh, against uh, Taslima Nasreen? She was in Aurangabad. She wanted to visit uh, uh, the Ajanta Elora Caves uh, with her mother. And these protests by AIM, AIMIM, what do you make of this? See, the unit, our unit in Aurangabad, our MLA and all that protested is... Uh, Taslima Nasir on earlier occasions have used certain unparliamentary words against our prophet, which no Muslim would accept that. And uh, she, and because it could create a law and order. So we don't want such a person to enter the city or the place, which is a sacred place. Aurangabad is known for its sacredness. There are so many tombs there. She coming to that place who has insulted, used foul language against our prophet. We protested that if we come there, if she comes there, it would get a law and order problem. No, but do you, like you're saying that she has said the unparliamentary uh, things in the past, but do you think these protests are parliamentary? Do you think these protests are decent? Do you think uh, sloganeering and forcing an author to go back is uh, okay with the you? The person who has used such words against us, our prophet, does not, can be not be shown any sympathy. This is what I feel. And we did the right thing that she we did not allow her to enter a sacred place, and she had to leave. That's it, madam. I'm out. I'm traveling. I'm going to be able to talk. But 
Okay, but do you think if the government of India doesn't have a problem, if she can enter on the, if she can step on the Indian soil, the government of India has no problems, then why does AIMIM has a problem? And who does the party think? Do you think you are the custodian of Islam? All right, so there we heard AIMIM leader uh, Varis Pathan who was saying that uh, Taslima Nasreen had uttered some unparliamentary words against Islam in the past and which is why what you see on your screen happened. Uh, you know, uh, she faced protests when she reached uh, Aurangabad. These visuals are from 2007. And on the other side, we have what happened uh, on Saturday. Similar protests and same party, AIMIM, protesting against Aslima Nasreen. Ten years ago, she was uh, attacked with bouquets and flower pots. F protests turning violent and absolutely chaotic scenes were witnessed in August 2007. And just yesterday, Taslima Nasreen, who wanted to visit the Ajanta Elora Caves with her mother in Aurangabad, faced protests by AIMIM. She had to face sloganeering and uh, chants by AIMIM leaders who, who think that she has uh, made some un-Islamic comments in the past and which has hurt the religion and which is why AIM workers uh, chose to protest in a way that she had to go back to uh, Mumbai from Aurangabad, she did not uh, uh, move from the airport, she did not, because the protest, because the opposition was so fierce that Taslima Nasreen had to take a flight back to Mumbai. And like we just spoke to AIMIM's Waris Pathan, who said, who defended this hooliganism by AIMIM workers saying that uh, what happened in the past because she used unparliamentary language against the Prophet, against Islam and this is why and which is why she deserved this kind of treatment. On her screens are the visuals of that chaos, that ruckus that unfolded at the Aurangabad airport on Saturday when Taslima Nasreen uh, along with her mother wanted to visit the Ajanta Elora caves but uh, instead faced a fierce protest from OVC's workers who chanted slogans, who targeted uh, Taslima Nasreen and opposed her visit, saying that she cannot, she doesn't have the right to visit a place such as Ajanta Elora Caves when she has insulted Islam and Prophet in the past, which is what the AIMIM claims. <laughs> I'm joined by India today's uh, Pankaj uh, Khelkar. Uh, Pankaj, I just spoke to AIMIM's Waris Pathan who says that uh, Taslima Nasreen deserved this kind of treatment because uh, she insulted the uh, Prophet in the past. She had uttered unparliamentary language against the religion. And what we see on our screens is complete chaos. I mean, this kind of behavior uh, against any person, I mean, let the law take its own course. And these people resorting to ruckus and chaos at the airport, forcing an author to return to Mumbai. Uh, see, Achina, what you are saying is absolutely correct that law should take its course and people who are opposing her, they should also take the help of law to whatever punishment they think is right. They should take the, uh, they should appeal or approach the law. But over here in Aurangabad, the MIM, MLA, Intia Jalil, as well as his followers and supporters, they were at the airport yeah, on Saturday evening when Taslima Nasreen, the renowned uh, writer, from Bangladesh, who is uh, in exile since 1994 for her writing, controversial writing, she was again forced to go back. Imtia Jalil, while speaking to India today, he said that she has heard the sentiment. The same way MLA uh, Aris Patan is saying, uh, Imtia has repeated the same thing that she has, she has heard the sentiments of Muslims all over the world. Muslims in Aurangabad are also no different, and so they won't allow her. Not only this, Muslim supporters of MIM, they were at the Taj Hotel where she had booked on some other name uh, along with her mother. She was there, she, was, she had planned a visit for three days. She was going to visit the international sites of Ajanta Elora as well as Kailasa Temple. But she was not allowed, she was forced to go back. At the same time, when she had come from Delhi, she was forced to go to Mumbai. Now where she is, there is uh, no whereabouts of Tatlima Nasreen. But the MIM supporters are adamant. They want. They say that they won't allow her to enter Aurangabad. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Pankaj Kelkar, for that update. So the latest being uh, Taslima Nasreen has uh, gone back to Mumbai.